welcome everyone so today i'm going to talk about the recent update of the gei assistant so i have just updated it with the 1.1 version so here i have made some significant upgradations of the previous version so the first one is it is now powered by 2.5 gemini so uh, earlier the uh, gemini model was 2.0 flash light and now it is using 2.5 flash light so the major creation is the uh, knowledge base is now january 2025 that means it will uh, get some recent data and the advanced uh, information as well and the context window or the token window from 8 to k to 64 k that means it will be able to understand read and generate uh, longer code lines uh, so this is the most in context of the uh, ai part now here i have made some improvement so that the fix button run automatically when uh, you hit the fix button you get the error run the fix button if it is not able to solve in one go it will run repeated times at least three times uh, to solve the error without uh, repeatedly clicking for the fix error now the most important part is the inclusions of the data set information so the data set information means i have included the entire data sets including the google earth engine community catalog and the google earth engine main catalog so it is uh, near about 4700 data sets uh, included here and uh, when uh, you face the uh, data sets error or data sets not found so by this way you can solve this error and uh, remember uh, you use with caution because you, uh, 12,000 line of code it will read so it will uh, take some time and you have to be patient and it will also cause some token error or the capacity limit error so you have to uh, retry it or um, try and error you have to follow this method Right. So here I'll uh, show an uh, example or show a demo for the recent upgradations. Like right. so, I'll uh, show uh, for the study area. I'll display the uh, data sets which in the earlier model it is not able to understand. Like right. or display. So it will uh, display the uh, study area so first we will uh, get the study area and then we will uh, add to try add other information right we get the study area successfully then now add a road network so for that i will uh, use the uh, data set inclusion information because i need information for the exact data sets id so that will include so now i will just click on modify so it will uh, take some time because it will read a large number of line almost uh, more than uh, 12000 of lines of code it will read and then it will uh, give the answer So it gets some error now i'll uh, fix because sometimes it uh, the uh, ai part can get error so quota limit error so that is the most common error you will get when you use the data inclusion include data information because it is reading a larger number of uh, line so try to regenerate or retry then it will uh, after some times it will take the query and it will uh, solve your error and it will display the data set now it is uh, giving the result see the road networks for the mumbai city is now displaying so it, it has taken these particular data sets for the road network it is from the uh, g community catalog so it is able to display the uh, road networks for the mumbai correctly now i want other data set to display in that map like uh, the temperature data sets right display temperature
the uh, include data set information is active that means it will search for the uh, temperature related data sets and um, it will uh, provide a uh, temperature data set so which temperature data set it has taken so it has taken the lst land surface temperature with the modis data set so let's run it boundary road network and the lst the LST layer it is able to display correctly you can add any data sets that is available in the uh, data sets for community catalog as well as the main catalog so uh, like this way you can do that do, do the things and remember when are when you are not using the data set in the function you should uncheck it and uh, you can do other modification right uh, like add title So for adding title we don't need the data set information so we should not um, over burden the api call with the data set information we can do some other uh, things like the calculate stats calculate statistics For all these simple tags, we don't need the uh, information for the data set, so that way we should avoid it, uh, using uh, it uh, repeatedly. So the land surface temperature, I mean land surface temperature, it is giving 3.35.180 degrees Celsius. So that is able to uh, the uh, is able to calculate it. Now I want the uh, export all all drive now it should export the uh, road networks and the list layer both the layer to drive Mumbai boundary, Mumbai road network, and the Mumbai LST. So this way you can uh, load any data set. So you have to try uh, try error process. You have to follow that method to get the uh, information you want. And here the most important thing is do not include the data set information until it is required because it will uh, read almost more than twelve thousand of lines for the single command. And it will cause some error for the API call because it will be a huge API call. So if it, if it is required, you want to add some indices, add some data sets, then you should use it. Otherwise, you should not use it. Thank you for watching.